Here are some things that you can use when you're wanting to build an outline um, using the MLA style. And back here, referring to the Purdue Online Writing Lab, right here would be the first four levels for an outline. First level being Roman numerals, second level capitalized letters, third Arabic numerals, and fourth lowercase letters. So this is the pattern that we'll use. Here's a couple of options for setting this up to run automatically. I'll be using Microsoft Word. Moving over here to my Word document, Word has an outlining feature, which is right here, and I'll click on the drop down arrow, and these are the standard outline formats, but none of these fit the Roman numeral, capital letter, Arabic numeral, lowercase letter look that we want. So I'm just asking that you use this define new style right here. We'll click that. We'll give this name style for MLA. And then I can say within this box what character I want at the beginning for each level. So I'll start here at first level. And this box right here gives me a view of what my four levels will look like. The first level I want is to be Roman numerals. I forgot I want to take time and make this times Roman 12 point to stick with that. Roman numerals. Now in the example down here, it's putting a parentheses after this. I don't want that. So I find that if I turn it over to the bullets and then go back to the numbering system, I can put that into Roman numerals and it doesn't have the parentheses there. So that's first level times Roman 12 point. I had to click to the bullet feature and back to the numbers feature to choose then Roman numerals here. So that I can change this then to the second level. Again, I want it to be a times Roman 12 point. I'll then choose bullets, back to numbers, then I can choose capital letters. Third level, again, times Roman 12 point, bullets, back to numbers, and it's already set to what I want there. And then finally fourth level, times Roman 12 point, set that, bullets, back to numbers, and lowercase letters would be next. Okay, so then I've set this up, clicking on OK. When I click here then in my feature, I've got my list styles then that show up down here at the bottom. And I should look for the one that starts with the Roman numeral, capital letter A, Arabic numeral, lowercase a. I can click that. And for some reason, my numbering is going on, so I'll take that off. Try setting this up again. And pick the list that I want. Okay, finally setting this up from my current list. Coming down here, changing my list level. I'm not sure why this is going to A, but I'll change my list level down here and take it here. So then this would be first level. Pressing enter and using my tab key takes me then to second level. Enter, pressing the tab key. There's third level. Enter, press the tab key. And then there's fourth level right there. When I come down here, if ever I want to move up a level, like I'm at fourth level right now, it's the opposite of the, sh of the tab key, which is shift tab. So shift tab promotes me up to the previous level. I'll do it again, shift tab on my keyboard takes me up to my levels. So tab always takes you down a level, and then shift tab always takes you back up a level in that way. So if I wanted to save this as my template, I'll do a file save as, let me just make sure. Control A. I want this to be a Times New Roman 12 point document. There we go. 
and file save as. In my documents folder, I'll just call this MLA outline style. Enter. Then for all future outlines that I need to use, I could then close this document. If I'm building a new outline, I go to my documents folder, looking through my MLA outline style, opening this up. Immediately, just like I did with the MLA formatting on my paper, I go to File and Save As, because I don't want to alter this document here. I want to alter a different document. Um, I'll just call this First Outline. Now I can see that it's called First Outline, so now I can make any edits I want to to this page, and I'm ready to go. So those are some options there. Um, if you needed to have the header set like we did with the paper where you had um, the four items up there, student's name, name of instructor, and such, then when you're originally creating this template, the outline style, you could go ahead and add that all that stuff in there as well and have it all on one page ready to go.